Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, a uh, day of transition where we actually transition to some more reasonable temperatures for this time of year. However, often when we transition to warmer temperatures, we have to go through some precipitation. That's what's happening right now, although it hasn't been that heavy for the most part. We are seeing some uh, light flurries here at our studios in East Providence. And also here on the city cam, I was noticing a few flakes about 10 minutes ago, checking things out. But you can see it's not that heavy. Visibility is actually okay in the capital city. Temperatures 27. Winds are out of the southwest at 10 miles an hour. So, you know, 27, better than some of the temperatures we've seen the past several mornings, that's for sure. And on live pinpoint top 12. Yes, the blue is showing up, but not everybody is actually seeing really steady snow from this. A lot of us just flurries. There may be a few pockets, especially out here in some of the higher elevations of western Rhode Island, where it's coming down a little bit more steady. Had a report from uh, North Smithfield, I believe, that some light snow is falling right now. And in terms of wind, yes, we will have that today, especially at the south coast. Gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour. It's also going to be windy in Providence, just not quite as windy as what we're going to see at the coast. Speaking of wind, already getting going right now in places like New Port, Jamestown, Westerly between 14 and 15 miles an hour. Providence, you are now up to 10 miles an hour. So over the past 20 minutes or so, the winds have started to pick up. We'll also get some of this wind into northern Rhode Island. And actually, the wind, although it makes for pretty uh, brutal wind chills sometimes, it does help push in some milder air. So as the wind continues to fall in from the south, these temperatures will get out of the low 20s here in places like Smithfield and out of the upper 20s in Providence and get into the 30s. Already in the 30s in westerly in Newport, you can see 32 right now in Newport. So on the satellite picture, you will notice this little blob of snow that's producing some of the light snow flurries right now. We do get a gap in here, then we're watching this clipper system moving in from the west that will scoot across the uh, skies tonight through early tomorrow morning. We can actually track the precipitation going hour by hour. There is some of the light snow flurry action this morning. That continues off and on until about 11 o'clock this morning. For the most part, we will not see any accumulation. There could be a few spots, especially west of Providence, which pick up a quick coating. And then as we head into the afternoon, a lull in the activity. You can see 4 o'clock, not much in the way of precipitation falling. But after 5 o'clock, in between about 8 p.m., the chance of more snow developing, potentially mixing with some rain here in southeastern Massachusetts. And although the majority of the time it is very light snow and not sticking very much, there could be some occasional heavier bands of snow, very brief, but heavier bands that temporary drop visibility and also put a quick coating on the roads. That's most likely to happen to the north and west of uh, 295. And then we push everything off to the east after 8 or 9 o'clock out towards Cape Cod as we start to dry things out. Now, temperature-wise, actually, we'll get to that in just a second. In terms of accumulation, accumulations, about a coating to an inch is possible across uh, most of our area north and west of I-95. And this would be by tonight where we would get to those not so impressive grand totals. In terms of temperatures, you could see three in the afternoon, upper 30s to low 40s at the south coast, mid 30s here inland. And then tonight, here's what we're watching carefully, back below freezing, this is at nine o'clock. And of course, if we do get that coating, we could see the possibility of some slick roads. And then it gets really cold again. On Sunday, we're down to 20, but the wind chills will make it feel like it's around zero at times tomorrow. We recover those temperatures with some light snow on Monday and then right back to the cold again on Tuesday. So Steve, kind of a roller coaster ride with our temperatures the next couple of days, right back to the brutally cold stuff for tomorrow with near zero wind chills. We'll be ready for it. Yes, I know you will. You're a tough guy. Thank you very much, Pete. Yep.